Oh, I'm Para Phoenix. Cool. Ah! Oh, base. Oh, that's the best one. But I'm going to pull for another anyway. What? That's not bad. I only did one temple from the free temple promotion. And this was the physical, right? Yeah, I was thinking I could use more physical. Oh my god. This is like everything. You can use this on everything. So yeah, for me, I am staying at level 80 at this moment. And I don't feel the set overall is very enticing to me. Now the only thing that might be interesting is this bottom piece and only if I'm reading this right. What the heck? That's Palatina's Equinox weapon and I knew I had Palatina's Equinox, they gave it to me, what the heck? What? Okay, you have it, girl. That is, that is her weapon, right? I don't know if the system has figured out. I'm the kind of person that, if they didn't give it to me, I would never get this one. <laughs> what? This is for. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> to me, this May set is. Again, you know, I haven't been playing this game for even a year yet, staying at level 80, not breaking through. I feel this May set is basically a no-brainer. And what I'm thinking is... And it's ultimate, total damage, you know, shield breaking. What I'm thinking is I could put it on Stygian Nymph and I would make her like a go-to physical support. Huh? You can do that? Uh. <laughs> okay, I don't mind another one of that. Okay, I'm a little lost here. <laughs> Do I have uh, three? up weapons within 20 pulls and yeah in terms of this weapon you know now that i know i will pull at least two up from this like i'm prepared that if i get it i'll probably raise prometheus more properly than i thought i would so let's Hat to the pool. Um, I mean, you can check over what every what each one of them give you. But for me, I want to get this 750 tokens so I can come here in exchange. Pardos Chakram is what I really wanted to get. Because I am raising Pardo, I am raising Susanna, um, and I use IE often. And within all the chakras that are released so far, this is the one I like the best. It has its effects are versatile, and I like how it. 
If I'm remembering it correctly, it says always increase total damage. So it deals ice damage, even if your wielder is not necessarily an ice Valkyrie. So there's kind of no wastage in what this weapon gives you. But but yeah, that's just also because I am raising all those Shakran wielders. And yeah, I actually also considered hard this option, but I wouldn't go into too much detail. But so far, I feel I, that's something I could forego, and I could get some of these special outfit tickets or other um, materials. So let's head to the pool. Seriously. So this version we have Prometheus and hair. I'm okay raising Prometheus, at least getting her to the S rank just from the bonuses available in this version, but for hair Dream Weaver, I personally don't have much of a blood factor to her, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to pull for her. Now in terms of the Stigmata, it would be nice for me to get one of Alexandra Stigmata just because of love factor. It's just after seeing her in the stories, I really wanted to have one of her stigmata and not just look at it, I actually want to use the her stigmata actively. But that said, this set doesn't give you a lot of special things. I mean, if you are going to raise Dreamweaver to the top, this might be something really interesting to you. But the fact, you know, adding total damage, crit value, crit, um, yeah, adding crit, there are many Sigmata and um, weapons that could do that. And also it's restricted to physical damage most of the time and summon entity. Um, so yeah, for me, I am staying at level 80 at this moment and I don't feel the set overall is very enticing to me. Now the only thing that might be interesting is this bottom piece and only if I'm reading this right. Hitting enemies inflict dreaming state for one second. Dreaming enemies take 2% more total damage from self um, 5% more total damage from user summon entities. So if I'm reading this correctly, how the dreaming state work is when the enemies deal damage to you, it also deals damage to itself. And that would be a very interesting mechanism. But I'm not sure, this self could also mean just the wielder, the Valkyrie herself. 
I feel even though sometimes they have language hiccups, but most of the time these Sigmata descriptions do go by the you know word by word literal meaning. And I feel that definition also fits well with this dreaming theme. Um, so yeah, I was considering if I wanted to pull 50 pulls for this banner. Um, but I kind of resorted to, you know, there are tons of opportunities to get it during the equipment pulls. You know, when the set is one of the secondary up equipment. So I kind of resorted to that. But I was like seriously considering doing 50 pulls on this one. If I get this weapon, I mean, this is strictly physical and it's the first weapon of this type. So I was thinking if I get this weapon and I'm not raising hair, it, this weapon might just get recycled at some point down the road. But now that I've made up my mind not to pull this one, the situation is slightly better. And now let's look at Prometheus equipment. And that's a totally different story. To me, this main set is... Again, you know, I haven't been playing this game for even a year yet, staying at level 80, not breaking through. I feel this main set is basically a no-brainer. And what I'm thinking is... And it's ultimate, total damage, you know, shield breaking. What I'm thinking is I could put it on Saijin Nymph. And I would make her like a go-to physical support. So my goal here is to... get two pieces of main stigmata. I love stigmata that gives team Y total damage. This set is like, it has to be physical to enjoy the full effects, but all those total damage and shield breaking ultimate effects are like pretty worthwhile for any non-physical team as well. Oh, that's a picture of Kevin and her. <laughs> And yeah, in terms of this weapon, you know, now that I know I will pull at least two up from this, like I'm prepared that if I get it, I'll probably raise Prometheus more properly than I thought I would. So far, I think I'll get her to S and use her whenever, you know, just whenever. Um, but if I get this one, I don't mind raising her better. The fact that she gives 
for team-wide support, shield. These are all interesting points for her, and I think it'll. And she's kind of like Brian in a way. I wouldn't go into too much detail in her. And it makes the entire combat more interesting. I am still not a hundred percent like down with how to use Branya, but that's also part of why Branya like skills are interesting. But that said, there's actually another weapon that I think most people probably got in their previous versions award that you could use on Prometheus. Actually, you know what? Let's go there just really quick. Physical damage, imaginary time. But it's the problem with this final form destiny is it's like almost too narrow. But I don't mind just letting promises have it and just be on standby whenever it is the perfect situation for her. I'll bring her up. But if I actually get that weapon, then chances are I'll use her in many more scenarios. Not to mention, we have the 30 pool guarantee here, and you get 5 tickets back for each 10 pool. So it's like you only need. 30 pools, but each 10 pool only counts you 5 pools, so it's a guarantee every 15 pools. It's like, I don't know how it can get more, I don't know how it can get cheaper, I mean under this Hong Kai Impact 3rd supply structure. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Oh, after the pool, by the way, I will probably go adjust the stigmata because there will be a lot more equipment that's being dropped here. Ampere Phoenix. Cool. Ah! Oh, base. Oh, that's the best one. But I'm going to pull for another anyway. What? That's not bad. I only did one temple from the free temple promotion. And this was the physical, right? Yeah, I was thinking I could use more physical. Oh my god. This is like everything. You can use this on everything. But altogether, this is a physical set, yeah. Ooh. And that's. This is the interesting thing that increases the team damage. What? Oh, so that means I only need to take another 30 pool to get another equipment. Let's go, guys.
That's Palatina's Equinox weapon. And I knew I have Palatina's Equinox. They gave it to me. What the heck? What? Okay, you have it, girl. That is, that is her weapon, right? I don't know if the system has figured out. I'm the kind of person that if they didn't give it to me, I would never get this one. <laughs> What? This is for... Oh, get out of here. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay, let's just um, keep going and get the second equipment out. Oh, by the way, did I say if I actually get the weapon, I would actually go for another 30 pool to get the... May to get two pieces of May. So now this is uh, cheaper. <laughs> oh god, I was totally not expecting that lungs. But maybe it's because I really don't have proper lungs weapon, you know, among all the different weapon types. Oh yeah, okay, so I got... So they gave me this weapon, which is okay, I'll raise... I'll raise Prometheus then. Easy. But still, that's crazy. And that also means I only need... 30 more pools to get another May Sigma. Now, let's go. Huh? You can do that? Uh. <laughs> okay, I don't mind another one of that. Okay, I'm a little lost here. <laughs> what? I have three? Up weapons within 20 pools? Oh, okay, let me see. Oh, also, but that doesn't count as the as a guaranteed 20 drops. Oh sorry, that doesn't count as the guaranteed up because this one already appeared. So, whatever they came after doesn't count anymore. <gasps> what? So I guess it's, it's, it could be like salvage material or, or I don't know, like can I use it for like tuning or whatever? Um, or I'm like basically fist free. <laughs> like, what? Huh? Let's do so. Let's um, continue with this guarantee to get a second piece of May. Oh yeah, I have three of these too. <laughs> they do kind of tend to come in clusters. Oh, 
Okay, so they want you to follow through and get to the last drop of this guarantee. Yeah, okay, so I got what I want here. So I got three pieces of equipment in 70 pools. The first two of equipment got here both within 20 pools, and the third one took 30. With that said, um, let's go equip, guys. Um, yeah, first of all, no brainer. <laughs> Get this to Palatina's Equinox. Um, I don't know if I do. I want to give this to Sushan. I'm having Sushan wear that divine key one, which is a no brainer to any fist wielder. Uh, this one. Yeah, this is only physical, so Sushan can wear it. Hey, but this would be like I'll save one of this for Santi. I don't have Santi yet. Uh, but at least this is physical damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And honestly, this is probably my favorite cannon. <laughs> It might not give you the best number, but the fact is that it inflicts rhyme trauma. So it can... F and it, creates, it, it inflicts this much rhyme trauma. It, so it, like whenever you cast the skills, not only does it bombard the um, enemy with ice damage, it also keeps them frozen. Well, it doesn't keep them frozen when you hit them, they'll move and stuff, but still, usually I really like weapons or valkyries or stigmata that gives rhyme traumas that actually freeze the enemy. I feel that little, like, to me, what the freezing does in the battle dynamics makes a lot of difference. So yeah, I'll definitely keep this one, keep both of these two, um, but in terms of fist, I have this Feng Huang down, and I have the Divine Key one, what's that called? Grip of Taishuan. But so far, you know, once for Prometheus, once for Santi down the road. Um, yeah, maybe down the road if there's... Or maybe I'll salvage this one. I'll look more into that. But yeah, let's... First thing first, let's give... Let's give Dior and Dial this one. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough to actually equip Durandal with a 4 star or 5 star potential stigma set yet. Um, I think I'll equip Sila first. Yeah, they'll make her still, you know, a good secondary choice. So now let's. So now Sila has Marco Polo. Do I want to give the sets to Durandal? Uh, Durandal? Probably not, because the way I'm using Durandal, I just 
do a like get her on her horse, do a evade, and then do a long press attack. So I'll probably not get to this much combo hit. This could be good for someone like Sakura or Mei. <laughs> I'm not worried about upgrading, leveling up today. I'll do that down the road. Yeah, using ultimate increases team total damage for 22 seconds. That's what I'm going for. But when both these are bottom... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can free up this Marco Polo set for someone else. Or maybe I could give it to Prometheus, actually. And so as the filler, let me just get one filler for her. I guess we're running out of 5 stars. That's not bad. Actually, this one actually works better for Saiji Niv. Yeah, I think it's safe to get this to Saiji Niv, and I'm probably not really going to use Swallowtail Phantasm anymore. Okay, so yeah, I'm afraid now Prometheus is probably going to be on my go-to physical team. I'm thinking who else can use Marco Polo. She doesn't, um, I don't use her on a lot of I don't cast a lot of combo with her either. So I guess it has to be. It has to be. Yeah, it's either her or. Uh, Herscher of the Void. But right now, on Herscher of the Void, I'm like maximizing on HP recovery. And if I'm remembering correctly, Marco Polo depends on like 70% or HP and above. So she can, like, she, she will not have it in the first place. Putting on her is a good one too, but I have a full shard mom set on her already. Um, Charmant has this Sakura special effects, but I can't use that on Celestial Him. <laughs> so that's Celestial Him it is. Oh, by the way, I actually didn't get a lot of the... Yeah, right? Oh wait, not her. Oh, but she needs a good set too. That's down the road. She has very good skills herself. Um... So maybe, wait, how about I get this set on Started Astrologus? Oh, Started Astrologus can't use much of that either. Well, let's just get the Marco Polo on her first. Actually, does not depend on HP. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Marco Polo actually does not depend on HP. Ah, 
Actually, why don't I give this to H. Void, actually? Yeah, let's do that. I'll worry about Star Astrologus and Celestial him later. This set makes her useful already. And I'll upgrade her as I go. And I was piling up these HP recovery skills because I was using Judgment of Shamash with her. And you can imagine how crazy it was. And now I actually freed up three very good pieces of Sigmata. And which I could probably use on these two. I do want to get uh, Yeah, let's get this one on her first So let's see what else I have and what I can put on Prometheus. I'm going to worry about the ice and lightning sets later. Yeah, I actually don't have a. <laughs> Can Prometheus take basically what H. Void had? Mm, Prometheus has shield, so... Um, you know what, I'm tempted, because now that Prometheus has her weapon, I'm tempted now to get her the top Sigma at the start. And she can, if she grows stronger and stronger, then I can get a really good set on her. Yeah, this one shouldn't be put on H boy in the first place. And I can probably actually for the defense one. I'm thinking I could make uh, optimize blueberries. Sigma had a little bit. Maybe not. So okay, so when Prometheus came, you know, I can at least get this for her on her for the bottom piece. Actually, maybe that is an overkill still, because I'm unlikely to collect two pieces on this one anytime soon and Otherwise, the skills here are not very specific to her. But maybe I'll see you later. Actually, why am I putting this on her in the first place? Oh, because I think this is a physical set. It says in her shirt form, so it's not only Santi, right? It can be any Valkyrie that has a her shirt form. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I'll just get her the set. 
anyway. And I can optimize her later, now that she has her equipment, like, come on. But yeah, this, like, I would probably raise these two, and it's, you know, a very good plug-in on any Valkyrie. I actually didn't get the, like, secondary up equipment that I wanted, but this is more of a gain, actually. So, Prometheus... Or maybe I'll get Prometheus one of these sets. I'll have one more mid. Sakamoto Ryoma. This is basically um Hayaka, by the way. If you if you can call it that. I mean Sakamoto versus Hamisato. <laughs> you see that connection? Or is Ayaka the brother or the sister? I mean the brother. <laughs> And I don't think I have a Galileo, so wait, why? Yeah, I actually have more full sets now. You know what? Let me just go over and see who I can put full sets on. Um, I don't know, maybe I can... Yeah, fire is good on her. I already know what to get her. You know what? Do I have a Galileo set now? Yeah, I can probably actually get a Galileo set on her. Yeah. Defense, that's what she needs. Yeah, okay, let's get that on her. That's cool. Let's just set this one up. Yeah, okay. And I'll spend more time to look into maybe there are other sets that are that fits her more. That kind of thing. I think that's good for her. And now that Prometheus here, um I actually, want, I actually wonder how much I would use her. Lightning. Lightning. I actually have the top for this one, I think. There we go. I think that's what she's waiting for. Oh, it's, it's shield breaking. I don't know, I might get the set on um, Prometheus actually. I thought I would raise Kalen up no brainer because of the all the Memorial Arena, but I'm not playing Memorial Arena a lot, so she like did not grow. So if I get that um Prometheus will make her more like a shield breaking specialist. But I have to look at her other things. I think many of her other things are just restricted to physical or the type of enemies. And I could actually raise Chimiko. I don't know, just out of luck factor, I thought I would raise her if I get a chance. But yeah, for now, I think that's all I wanted to do in terms of fitting the new equipments in. Well, it was very lucky. A very good return on the pools. 
But after today, there's are going to be a lot of fine tuning along the way. But it's just a kind of rough sketch, so to speak. So now, like, I think the people who needed full sets, has full sets, I can see more clearly which set, um, I mean, on which Sigmata I have full sets already. I might have another Galileo set. I think I'll focus on one to raise, and that's not too much of an issue. Oh, I actually have this set. Moving speed. It's very DPS y, just. Um, yeah. But I might, like, for a four star set, I might use whatever four star stigmata that I have already fully raised. Even though it's not expensive to raise them. But for me, it's like less variables to consider. So yeah, I think I easily have another Galileo set, no? Another bottom piece. Here. And another Bruno Shuki Atukagawa. Oh, that's the poem. <laughs> that's the poet. Remember the Genshin event? This top. Oh, so with that, I'm actually starting to. get more 4-star, or I guess you call it 3-star stigmata than I need. Huh? And I'm not even... does it tell you how... I started in July, if I'm not... if I'm remembering correctly. So... Yeah. <laughs> it was a good one. It's like I didn't get the ones that make me hilarious. Like, I mean, that make me really excited. In terms of... Oh, I got what I want. But I think, rationally, this result makes me really happy. Okay, so I have four, 540 now. And there's always 50 times 2 if I need, because I saved up the dorm tickets for it. And then that make it 640? And I need one time more to get to the 750. To get to the 750. And I already know... Mm -hmm. 
I already know a pool for Kiana, at least I think most likely 21 pools. And that'll give me 180 tokens over there, which is already enough. I think I'll probably do 21 pools here and finish that third temple with some elf pools. I don't know how this works yet, but if it works in my advantage, that's what I'll do. And so I don't even need to pull two or maybe not even one dorm supply. And I can save it up for later. <sighs> so yeah, it's I wouldn't say this is a major upgrade for me, but definitely a qualitative upgrade. I hope you guys Get lucky in your pools. I think for me it was definitely pretty lucky. And if you like, you can come talk to me in terms of strategy. I would usually stream when I am making a major pool or I am making a major upgrading decision. And you can talk to me live on Twitch at Hoyoversaria or Nemo TV at IC Iris. Yeah, and I hope all the captains out there get what they want. I'm going to peace out for now.